Hello my fashionistas, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amber Westbrook and today I'm going to be telling you how to digitize a flat pattern and make it into a PDF that you can print out or sell online. Before we get going, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and make sure you ring the little bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. I'm going to show you how to make two different kinds of patterns. Both of these can print, both of them are PDFs, but using two different programs. For those of you that have Adobe Illustrator, you are in luck because that one is coming up next. But right after that, I'm going to show you how to do the same process, but using Procreate on the iPad. I'm using an Apple Pencil with my iPad Pro to create this in Procreate, but you can also use a regular iPad or any other iPad that has functionality with the Apple Pencil. So without further ado, let's get started with the Illustrator tutorial. To start out, I'm gonna take a picture of my pattern. Now, this is not the type of picture I wanna take because you can see it's distorted. I'm gonna to wanna to take this kind of picture where it's head on, straight from the top down. I'm gonna take this photo into Photoshop and just give it a little bit of lens correction so that I can kind of have it be perfect. Now, if you don't have this, that's totally fine. You definitely don't need to do this. I just like to do it. It gives it a bit better perspective. So then I'm gonna flatten this image and I'm gonna save the file. And now I'm gonna open it in Adobe Illustrator. Now, when I open a new document in Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to make eight and a half by 11 sheets. I'm gonna make sure I select inches, and I'm gonna double check that my color is CMYK and my raster effects are on high, which is 300 points per inch. Then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna to go to more settings. Then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna choose my number of artboards, let's say six to start. You can always change this number later. And I'm gonna arrange them from left to right and top to bottom. Then I'm gonna change my spacing down to zero inches and I'm going to change my columns to two columns. I'm gonna check and see all the rest of my settings are still okay, and I'm going to create my document. Now I've brought this photo that I edited in, and on my actual pattern, I'm going to measure this straight edge so that I can have a proper scale reference. Once I've measured that, I'm going to make a line with the same measurement, which for me was 31.25 inches, and I'm gonna set that to a 90 degree angle and click OK. Once I bring my line down onto my page, I can see that I'm obviously going to need some more artboards. So what I'm going to do is shift O to bring up the artboard tool, shift click to select multiple, and then option and drag to create duplicates. Once I have the proper size, I'm going to rearrange all of my artboards so that they're in order. And I'm just going to do my four columns, my zero inch spacing, and click OK. Then all I have to do is scale up my image holding down the shift button so that you don't mess up the proportion, and I'm gonna line it up with this line. Then I'm gonna lower the opacity to 50%, I'm gonna lock that layer, and I'm going to add a new layer, and I'm gonna take my pen tool and just trace around all of these lines to create my shape. I'm using a pretty thick stroke here, which you definitely don't have to, because I wanted you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, but to use a thinner stroke will print out much nicer. One way to do seam allowance really quickly is to draw the inside line, your actual sewing line with the pen tool, and then selecting that entire shape and click Command Copy, Command Shift V to paste in place, and then hold the Option key and drag the corners to scale from the center. Then all you have to do is use the A or direct selection tool to just clean up those little dots and make sure that everything is in place. This keeps you from having to draw the shape twice. Once I've done that, I can remove the back layer of my design so I just have lines. Then I'm going to clean up these lines and not change the shape because that's important, but I'm just going to move them around so that they're closer together and I can delete these extra artboards so I'm not printing any blank pages. And as long as I have my artboard tool open, I'm going to create one large artboard that encompasses the entire design so that I can either print this out myself later, offer it as an option online, or I can even have it printed out full size at a FedEx or Staples so that it's all on one sheet. But I'm also going to add numbers to each of these pages so that they can stay organized and I don't have to put the puzzle together when I do print them out individually. Then I'm just going to go to my regular save dialog, name it, and choose Adobe PDF to save the file. And that's it for Adobe Illustrator. So now we're gonna change over to Procreate for the iPad. I'm gonna open a new document and I'm just gonna choose screen size because it doesn't really matter. We're gonna change that later. And then I'm gonna go to add and insert a photo. 
Once I've inserted my photo, I'm going to do the layers drop down and I'm going to change the opacity down to about 25% and add a new layer on top of it that I can draw on. Then I'm going to select monoline and make it pretty thin because you want to still be able to see it but not super thick when you print. Then all I'm going to do is just trace around the whole pattern and seam allowance with my Apple Pencil. Once I've done that, I can delete the photo layer underneath and just work with the lines. I'm going to draw a line that's the same length as what I measured earlier, which is 31.25 inches. And now it's time to make this pattern fit to scale. I'm going to use my canvas crop and resize tool and I'm going to calculate the pixels to inches. So I know that I need at least 31.25, so I'm going to go for 35 inches tall and pretty wide. So this is my settings that I selected. It's going to differ based on how big or small your pattern is and you can just do a Google search to find a conversion tool. Once that's done, I'm going to turn on my drawing guide and I'm going to click edit drawing guide. This will bring up another dialog box and here you can choose your grid size. I chose 96 picks because that's one inch. So I want my entire canvas to be covered in a one inch grid. Then all I have to do is add a new layer on top of my drawing layer and I'm going to draw a line using those one inch marks to measure 31.25 and draw a line. Now is the easiest part. All you have to do is scale your lower layer up so that those two lines match in height. Doing this makes sure that your pattern is the same exact size as it is in real life so that when you go to print your pattern out, it's going to come out to scale. Then I'm just going to open up my actions menu, export it to PDF, and then save it to my computer where I'm going to open it in Adobe Acrobat and print it out. So when I'm in the print dialog box, I'm going to select poster, I'm going to select all pages print, I'm going to print it in grayscale, and then I'm going to make sure my scale is at 100% and it says right on there pages 9. Then I can just select my printer and click print and out will come my finished pattern. You can use the same technique to print any large documents including the large scale format print that you made from Adobe Illustrator just before this. So that concludes the tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions for future videos. And until next time, my beautiful fashionistas, stay beautiful and never stop smiling.